Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Laura here. It is surgery day and I've been up since, actually I say I usually wake up earlier but today I've been up since about six and I've just popped out to go pick up some, what's it called? Pseudo cream because I don't need to go into all the intimate details but if you know what pseudo cream's for, if you know, you know. Um, just for after surgery, the nurse said it was something that I would really need and it's a very noisy street i'm heading home got about an hour before i need to go to the hospital and yeah i'm really excited nervous but excited so we are on our way we have left with plenty of time because it's a rainy day and you know traffic in the city and everything like that uh, it also just helps with my nerves and my anxiety for us to just be on the way uh, but when i get there i'll check in i'll fill out a form and that's when i put in my request for what type of room i would like uh, so if you are in a room of four people including yourself then you don't pay for that that's not an additional cost but it's an additional cost if you want semi-private or private and i opt for semi-private i'm just such a sensitive sleeper that even though like for me it's worth it to pay the extra to have a more private space i was so super fortunate last time in that I requested semi-private but they actually had a private room came up so I was in a private room and I only had to pay the semi-private cost but they said that never happened so it's not like I'm expecting that to happen again and I'm also expecting that I could wake up and be in a room with a few other people um, but last time like when I got my first surgery they were using all of the private and semi-private rooms for people who had um, become COVID positive and they needed to isolate them from other people so there wasn't really a chance of that so yeah I'm not really sure what kind of room setup I'll be in I mean ideally it will be the two person because if you think in the night it's already a lot when they wake you with doing your vitals um, a few times in the night let alone other people are on other schedules and so everyone getting their vitals done and they'll switch their light on above them and do it and it's just yeah, I feel, I get so frustrated, I get so upset. And I know everyone goes through something similar. I'm just saying that's a priority for me when I'm in the hospital to get that private space. Uh, but we shall see. Hopefully I'm only in there for, I'm gunning and hoping for, oh, I'm still wearing my necklace. I need to take this off. I'll put it around your neck. This necklace, I think I've already talked about it, but this is actually my mum's necklace. And before I moved to Vancouver, she gave it to me because she wanted me to have something of hers. And I remember as a child when she'd read me stories and it would just like hang over me while she'd be reading and cuddling me. Good night. Um, so yeah, gotta take off all my jewelry, already taken off my ring. That looks so weird. And um, my earrings and things like that. Ooh, they need a bit of a clean. I always just, I sleep in my jewelry. Like I've got no, no qualms with doing that. Um, anyway, this is all kind of the biggest update because I, I can't imagine I'll be doing any talking to the camera in like across the next few days, especially if I'm in a room full of other people. So I might film some little clips, but the next clip of me talking will most likely be me at home. So this update was supposed to be me home from surgery telling you how I'm feeling. I think I'll get into the whole thing tomorrow, but in short, the surgery was cancelled. And it's extremely disappointing after fasting and preparing emotionally, organising work around, you know, taking time off and yeah, just so ready for this part to be over not to mention the pain i've been in from the loop ileostomy i just yeah i was gutted and you know i it was running sort of two hours over and we'd had no update and i was in the bed and they had the iv in and i was like prepped and ready to go and then as soon as i saw my surgeon come out i'd already kind of guessed that it was cancelled um she told me that she had started a lot later than anticipated because of an earlier emergency so um i have a new surgery date and it's the 24th of february and honestly like i know that sounds so close but the reason i'm awake it's 2am the reason i'm awake is because this is too much information but basically since i got home 
and had some food and I hadn't eaten in a long time since I had some food. My output's just been constant, liquidy, really high output. I felt like I was getting dehydrated and I just, I've emptied it so many times in the night already. Just like continue to empty it, like full bags after full bags and keep thinking, man, that's a lot of liquid. And I suppose it's quite explosive and basically the long story short, the seal on the bag just popped open and it went everywhere. So Tony had to get up, change the sheets, shower, and I realized very quickly that I was struggling to stand up and I was feeling like I was gonna vomit and that was because of being dehydrated. So I'm just gonna rehydrate and I don't know, spend the next hour just, <sighs> I'm tired, I'm exhausted. Yesterday was just, it was so hard and then this just adding on to it is just, I don't know. This is just me being really real. I will check in in the morning. So I'm not sure, I can't remember what I talked about when I jumped on at 2 a.m. but I just really felt like I wanted to speak to the camera and speak about what had happened. And I was feeling and obviously uh, like I'd just been crying and I just had a particular situation happen. So I'm not sure what information I included. So I'll either be repeating myself or I'll cut out some other bits. But basically yesterday, I, I just had this gut feeling when things were delayed that I was going to be cancelled. And that was just because last time my surgery was running almost an hour and a half late. But they were communicating with me the whole time. You know, we were getting calls from the OR, basically giving the updates. The anesthesiologist came and talked to me about what was going to be happening in the procedure. And none of that kind of happened. Like, it felt as though my steps weren't moving forward. So I just had this feeling and I knew, obviously, I was still trying to keep some kind of, you know, positive mind frame. I know this looks a little bit crazy here. I've got some self-tanner and I haven't taken it all the way up to the hairline. What am I doing? Anyway, ignore that. Um, I... Yeah, I just kind of knew and I was trying to keep an open mind and think maybe, you know, just maybe there's still a chance that I'll be getting it. But yeah, I was sort of just waiting for that moment. And then when my surgeon came out, I knew straight away and she said, I'm so sorry. And I immediately just burst into tears and I just, it was that feeling of like release as though I'd been anxious and pent up, feeling it all afternoon. And then finally I released it. I was dehydrated. I was fasted. You know, I was feeling awful. And I just said to her, you know, she said, hopefully we can get you a surgery, you know, within a month. And I was just like, no, 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 I can't keep doing this. Like, I, I genuinely do think maybe sometimes and like, I don't share all of the difficult parts of this and I kind of try to summarize it, but that's because I don't want you to come to this vlog and it just be this super negative space. Like, I try and summarize the difficulties of what I've been going through rather than explain every single time something hiccups and every single time I have a difficult night's sleep. So I try not to weigh on it too much, but I'm, I'm telling you this season since having this loop ileostomy has been the most difficult season. I found it harder than chemo. I found it harder than my first surgery. I have just found it so difficult because my quality of life is, is poor. I can't get good quality sleep. The pain is uncomfortable. The limitations around my food because otherwise I'll get, you know, insane pain. And I get pain anyway. The other day I was eating white bread, something that's usually fine, but you know, it just aggravated and it blocked it. I, um, I have so much skin irritation around there that there's this burning feeling and sensation. And yeah, it's just, it's extremely uncomfortable. And imagine however many consecutive nights of just poor quality of sleep. Uh, you know, I'm just so exhausted by the whole thing. So yesterday, the lead up building into thinking, oh, this is the last day and it's going to be gone. It was just so upsetting. So I said, no, 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 I can't keep doing this. Like I'm in so much pain. It is so challenging for me. Like I can't go away with the, the idea of not knowing when the surgery is going to be. Uh, you know, and I explained to her the difficulties, which I've explained before, but sometimes you have to be that squeaky wheel that gets the oil. So she said, look, let me go and talk to Lindsay, which is her assistant and, um, you know, go away, come back and, and see if I can get you a time. And she went away and she managed to move a couple of things around. I hope that that doesn't, you know, ruin somebody else's surgery too much or, you know, change things for somebody else too much. But 
you know, I get that these things happen and they know the priority order in terms of urgency and what, you know, is more elective and what needs to be done. Uh, and so they managed to book me, uh, I think I mentioned before, on the 24th. And so that feels ages away right now. And I know that probably the time will fly by, but you know, when you have poor quality of sleep, it, it really can be super tough. So I'm hanging in there and just trying to keep myself busy until then. And, you know, um, made the juice, steaming up some veg today, just trying to do all these things to feel proactive and feel like I'm doing things for the greater good of my body. <laughs> Good morning, I made a green smoothie and I'm super happy with it. And I haven't been making smoothies in ages. And that's because I made a berry smoothie and it really blocked me up with the berry skins. And it was so painful. I was just afraid of it all. And I was afraid of frozen fruit, afraid of the fiber, even if it's completely blended down. But I'm feeling pretty confident today. I've blended this with every inch of its life. I've got greens powder in it. I do have some spinach frozen mango, frozen banana, and some powdered peanut butter and chocolate protein powder. So it's really delicious. And it's just doing these little things like the juice yesterday, the smoothie and all this stuff that makes me feel a lot better. And you might be asking yourself, well, why haven't you just done this previously? And I might not have shown it in vlogs, but I have made lots of efforts to try and get vegetables and fruit into my diet and had really negative impacts like yesterday I said I was going to steam all that veg I haven't done that yet because I do know I'm probably going to have a little bit of pain so you know it, it's tough uh, and your body kind of remembers the trauma from how uncomfortable something like that was the last time I had a smoothie I was in a lot of pain so I don't think I'm going to get pain from this one it's really blended up there's no berries in it nothing with skin so I think it's going to be all good I'm just going to have this enjoy this then I'm going to have a shower I'm just as you might be able to see I've been watching Love Island in the background Done a little bit of work this morning and um, ooh, the freckles are showing up. I've got to do my skincare and yeah. All right, I am ready and headed to the gym. I decided that I just want to do a full body workout, mainly a lot of rehab Pilates type stuff. But sometimes when I'm in the apartment, we just don't have a lot of space and it'll just be nice to have like carving out that time dedicated to moving because I definitely move in the apartment. I've got some light weights, I've got some bands and I can do a lot of my rehab stuff here, a lot of my pelvic floor work. But yeah, like I said, sometimes you can just lose focus or if you've got the TV on, I could just get distracted. Uh, so going to the gym will be a dedicated space to do all of that. I really like my natural glowy makeup. I shouldn't be getting too sweaty in today's workout. I do want to lift some weights, nothing crazy. Big part about going to the gym today is purely just to have some structure to my day and to just feel good. You guys know I'm on operation feel better and things like this just, I know are gonna improve upon my mood. So it's basically just setting myself up for success. Anything I can do, I've had my smoothie today, I'm going to the gym, like these things make me feel good. And yeah, I probably won't film anything at the gym, but I'll see you when I get back. I have run out of steam. I forgot to film, but I went out for a big walk and I popped into Sephora and just kind of browsed around downtown. So I walked from my place to downtown, which is about a 35, 40 minute walk. I walked there and I walked back. And honestly, just getting close to home was a bit of a hill to get back. I started to run out of puff and I came home and I've just vegged out here on the couch. I've got my Ugh, bottle of water and I'm just gonna wait until I'm ready to bounce back and I'm definitely gonna make dinner early so tonight I'm gonna steam I'll show you what I'm gonna do just in case I forget to film it so I've got the air fryer out I'm going to air fry some potatoes for Ty some sweet potato for me and then I'm gonna steam the crap out of this broccoli and this carrot, so they're really soft for me to digest. And yes, I know that you get some of the micronutrients depleted out into the water when you steam it too much, but we're, this is what we're working with. And then I'm gonna have some of those vegan chicken tenders uh, as my protein source. But yeah, I'll probably start doing that at about, ooh, at about five o'clock so that I can get dinner in really early. 
probably have dinner by 5.30 and then that way, I think I've mentioned before, but most of it's processed before I go to sleep, just in case there's something that's gonna cause me issue, the earlier we can get it sort of the better. I, I've probably already said that before, but that's what I like to do. I like to eat dinner really early with the stoma, just to, <laughs> basically that's one of my prevention methods to try and set myself up for the best night's sleep possible. This makeup is so glowy. I am very impressed with the products I'm using at the moment. If that is something that you're interested in, I can include it in another video. I just know I'm not that much of a beauty channel. Uh, but if you're interested in what I do for my skincare and my makeup routine at the moment, I can absolutely do that. Oh, I think I need a 20 minute lie down. Okay, so here's Ty's veg and here's mine. I did end up blending it up. I just got anxiety about these little florets of broccoli and the carrot and I just thought, look, that's going to go down a treat. So love my little baby food. But then here's the other bits. Almost burnt it. Yeah, maybe burnt it a little bit on the side there. But let's just say extra crispy. Update. Dinner is painful to pass. So it's not like excruciating, but it's definitely really uncomfortable. So... It's disappointing that pureed veg did that and I'm definitely annoyed, but this is why we have dinner early because I actually ended up having it earlier than 5.30. What's the time now? Yeah, it's only six now. So I had dinner probably about quarter past five and this should all be over within a couple of hours. I just had a hot bath. I still need to do my skincare and yeah, it's just, it's, it's irritating. I'm annoyed, but I don't know. We do these experiments to see if I can, you know, take on some veg. So obviously the fresh pressed juice was fine. The smoothie was fine, but we now know pureed vegetables, not fine. So the buzzer just went off. Hey, Gibby. And Taylor sent me some flowers, which is just so sweet. So lovely. And they just came at just the right time. I was just telling you guys how awful I felt. And then they smell amazing. I feel just totally drained right now, so I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the night. I think I'm going to make a tea, a hot tea. Must you sniff everything? Must you sniff? We got to keep her away from these. Last time she ate flowers, we ended up at the vets and she had to get some antibiotics. So you stay away from the flowers, please. But yeah, I'm going to make a tea. Often bubbly water helps as well to pass things through. So. That's my evening plan. Good morning, I'm on my way to a rainy workout class. Well, obviously the workout class won't be rainy, but it's rainy now, like spitting. So gonna get there, hopefully warm up. It is actually 7.45 in the morning, but still very dark. Hey guys, so it's been a couple of days since my last clip that I filmed and I honestly just forgot to vlog but I wasn't just going to upload the footage that I had I wanted to wrap this vlog up obviously it wasn't what I intended it to be I thought it was going to be me updating you about my surgery and my recovery and everything but it just obviously didn't work out that way and so I felt like it's been super scattered so rather than just kind of continue it on with, you know, all the random bits I get up to throughout this week, I thought I would just wrap it up here. I, I keep getting asked how I'm doing and honestly, it changes moment to moment, really. Not moment to moment, but hour to hour. You know, I feel like my positive mind is battling my negative body. My body is going through it and struggling, but my mindset is you know, like struggling and wanting to stay positive and wanting to feel positive and for the most part it is. But yeah, this week's definitely been a challenge and has pushed those mental limits uh, with, I guess, just that whole idea of patience. It's sometimes I feel patient, but I think my husband would tell you for the most part I'm not. What would you say to that, Ty? I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Um, but yeah, I'm doing okay and I... I appreciate all of you for sending kind messages. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, Instagram, you obviously know that the surgery had been cancelled before this vlog's been uploaded. And so lots of lovely messages from my YouTube fam. I appreciate you guys and I will keep you updated. Today marks two weeks into my surgery. So it's the 24th of Feb. And 
yeah, that is close in the scheme of things, especially considering, you know, Monday was is cancelled. We've already had five days or four sleeps or whatever you want to call it. So all the skin's flaring. We don't love that. Uh, so, you know, before we know it, we're going to be in there, but it definitely is hard at the moment with those sleepless nights and nerve pain. So onwards and upwards, we are almost there. <sighs> Bring this season to an end. We're getting there, guys. I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.